Small business owners voiced their concerns today about federal policies. Representative Roy Blunt met with supporters of his campaign for senator in Springfield to hear those opinions. Kevin Schwaller shows us why that discussion extended to health care. The House is expected to vote on the Senate version of the health care bill on Sunday. And today, small business men and women said that they are weary of government policy, including possible changes to that health system. Most people in construction, what's on our minds is get government out of our back pocket and let the small businessmen work and run their business. <laughs> I'm, I have a lot of money. All electric company here in Springfield. He's afraid, though, the current health care bill would push his costs for coverage beyond what he can pay if it passes. And that attitude that government should stay out of the affairs of small business was one that resonated with the group in this meeting, supporters of Congressman Blunt. And that congressman talked about the need to rein in government spending. Blunt also believes the current bill will cost small businesses more in the end. An MSU professor says if the bill passes really in any form, it will likely mean extra costs, either through penalties and coverage, for some small businesses. Companies will respond to that by basically either not giving raises to employees at that time they normally would, or just getting rid of some employees. Now, Senator Claire McCaskill said in a statement to Color 10 News, quote, we need to support small businesses and reform efforts will do so through tax credits to help them provide health insurance to their employees. She goes on to say the reason some businesses pay high premiums is in part to cover the cost of the uninsured, which this bill aims to cut down on. Again, the House is expected to vote on the issue this weekend. If it passes the House, it will still have to go back to the Senate for a final vote before it reaches the president's desk. And for more information about the most current form of the health care legislation, visit our website, ozarksfirst.com. Kevin Schwaller, thanks.